Hey, what's up YouTube? How you doing? Good, I hope. Today we will be taking a look at my 3D printed camera gear. It's quite a bit of it and I will explain why I decided to prep my gear rather than just purchasing everything I need. Spoiler, is to save some money because camera gear is very expensive and I'm cheap. Also, we will explore how cost effective it is to print your own parts. Now, let's step up our camera game. I now have a Patreon and I will appreciate your support. Link in the description. First, a disclaimer. None of these prints are my own creations. I will put a link in the description to each print so if you want, you can check it out. Now, with that out the way, I will tell you how I got into 3D printing. It started one afternoon while I was watching some random YouTube videos. I came across a YouTuber video. He was showing the camera grid he has printed. Long story short, I got me one and I'm glad that I did. It has more than paid for itself. I have printed a lot of things, not just camera gear. Speaker adapters for my car. This phone stand for my iPhone. Also, this desk organizer for my pens, memory cards, and memory sticks. I have a lot of other videos planned on different gear I will be printing in the future. So you should subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. Now the gear I will be showing you in this video cost me $40 in materials and the printer cost me $450. Now let's see how effective printing your own camera gear can be. First, let's talk about the camera gear that I had prior to 3D printing, which is the core of my rig, the newer camera cage. I picked this up a few years back on Amazon with these small rig rails. I could have printed one if I didn't have this. There's plenty of options on Thingiverse or I could have designed something myself. This is my very first camera gear I printed. I needed a way to attach my battery bank to my rig to power my camera. So I printed this battery tray. You can use zip ties or rubber bands to attach the battery bank to the tray. And the tray just slide up onto the rails and you can use this hardware here to tighten it into place. This print took four hours to complete. I found this equivalent on Amazon, a multi-purpose cheese plate for approximately $40. Next, I needed a way to hold my rig. I wanted to use both hands for a more steady shot. So I printed these handles to attach to each side of my rig with two screws each. These handles took about six hours each to print. I found similar handles on Amazon for about $20 each. After that, I printed this phone mount to use my iPhone as a field monitor due to my camera limitation. There's no HDMI out while recording. This prints in four pieces and took approximately three hours to print. Actually, this print was attended for the Ender 3, but I made a couple of changes. I left a few pieces out and added this GoPro mount. And the closest thing I could find on Amazon for this cost $15. I followed that up by printing these two C brackets. I needed a way to attach my audio gear to my rig using this cheese plate and cold shoes. The cheese plate prints in three pieces and it took approximately four hours to complete. The C brackets, they took eight hours each to complete. I found this equivalent on eBay for approximately $20 each. And the cheese plate on Amazon for about $30. And the cold shoes on Amazon as well for $10. Uh, but I found some metal ones that I actually forgot I had, I bought from Amazon. So I replaced the 3D printed ones for the metal ones. Now to give my arms some relief during long shoots, 
I printed these offset brackets to connect my shoulder pad. The offset brackets took eight hours each and the shoulder pad took about five hours to complete. I found the offset brackets on Amazon for about $20 a piece and I found a similar shoulder pad on Amazon as well for approximately $40. Next, I have this lens support bracket. I printed it in two pieces. It's a little rough around the edges, but it serves its purpose. You can find it on Amazon for approximately $20. And this took about three hours to print. Finally, the matte box. I printed this just because it looks good and I just like the way it looks plus it makes me look more professional. This prints in 17 pieces complete with a filter. I found one on Amazon similar to this one with the uh, same features for approximately $150. Oh, I almost forgot. Also, I've printed uh, some lens adapters. This one is Micro Four Thirds to ND. The other one I have is Micro Four Thirds to EF Canon lens for Canon lenses. Uh, you can't adjust the aperture or anything, so you have to have manual lenses. On Amazon, you can find these for approximately $15. Conclusion, in my opinion, you should consider getting a 3D printer. They are so versatile, you can print almost anything. Depending on your needs, you can select the correct printer for you. If you're not gonna be printing very large prints, you can get a smaller printer at a lesser cost, sub $200. So, is it worth it printing your own camera gear? I would have to say yes. So far, I have saved approximately $390. That's a difference of $100, not including my next prints that is valued at several hundred dollars. I will be printing a um, gimbal and a slider. But before I end this video, I will show you my camera rig totally assembled. So if you have any questions or you want me to go into detail, um, just leave it down in the comments and thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If so, subscribe, like, and share this video with anyone who could benefit. But if you feel that this video is not quite up to par, just like this video, leave a comment letting me know what I did wrong. I really would like to hear from you. Also, you can follow me on the social medias. The links are in the description.